And those remarks from Governor Newsom coming after the governor's debate with a man trying to take his office, Republican State Senator Brian Dawley. The two facing off for the first and only time this election cycle. Fox 40 Capitol reporter Aton Wallace joins us live now from San Francisco, where that debate took place with what both candidates had to say during this debate. Aton. Well, Eric, it was a very interesting debate for sure. It aired primarily on the radio and competed directly with NFL Sunday. But nonetheless, it's still focused on the issues facing California. 2022 California gubernatorial debate. Democrat Gavin Newsom and Republican Brian Dolly squaring off at KQED headquarters in San Francisco today in the only California gubernatorial debate of the election. Right off the top, both candidates going after each other. And I want to uh, start out by thanking the governor for taking time out of his uh, for going forward on his dream of being president of the United States and actually coming to California and having a debate. And I've barely been out of state. I was out of state for a few hours to take on his party and his leader of his party, Donald Trump, who he was a passionate supporter of and what they're doing to democracy. Among the first topics to come up, abortion. I will absolutely fund reproductive services, but I am not going to fund out-of-state abortions. What about in-state abortions? No, I will, I will propose that, yes, I'm pro-life. You're not pro-life. You're pro pro-government mandated birth. On high gas prices, Newsom says oil companies are taking advantage. He wants to see a windfall profits tax on them, while Dolly wants to see a pause on the gas tax. Well, the gas tax holiday is the fastest way you can actually help drive down inflation. May I just, I mean, because this is a, a talking point from the right, and we've seen other states that have moved uh, with gas tax reductions, and we haven't seen the commensurate reduction because there is no guarantee. It means more money in the pocket of big oil companies. The candidates also talking education. We're identifying solutions every single day. High dose tutoring, reading specialists, in high poverty schools providing more staff, changing staff ratios, community schools, the investments we're making after school and summer school that we know work, preschool, to allow people the opportunity to have that early start in life. All things and you have consistently opposed, and we know these policies work. But yet, so with respect, why are the test scores so low? We I just made these investments in the last <laughs> years. California parents are leaving our education system because it's so poor, and it's not, it's not been fixed under your watch or the watch before. And finally, the issue impacting communities up and down the state, homelessness. He throws money at everything, but what are the results? Exactly, what are the results? He spent $20 billion, $75,000 per homeless person, and we have 22,000 more. It is growing. Absolutely, we know the number. When I got here, there was no homeless strategy, no plan, no resources of any merit. Today, there's $15.3 billion. There's a real strategy, real plan, and there's accountability for the first time. And as for the campaigns moving forward, well, the governor says he will continue with business as usual. And Dolly says he's going to go on a truck campaign, if you will, a statewide tour that's going to end in San Diego at the end of the month. Reporting live in San Francisco, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.